Hello everyone. This is the daily devotion video for uh, November November twenty eighth, two thousand sixteen. The passage we're reading today is Hebrews chapter five, verses eleven through fourteen. Which says, of, of whom we have much to say and hard to explain since you have become dull of hearing. For though by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you again the first principles of the oracles of God. And you have come to need milk and not solid food. For everyone who partakes only of milk is unskilled in, in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. But solid food belongs to those who are of full age, that is, those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. <clears throat> title for today's devotional is The Power of a Discerning Spirit. In a world filled with endless sources of information and opinions, believers need to develop a discerning spirit. Otherwise, how will we know what is true? Much of what we see and hear is based on a worldly perspective that's influenced by Satan, the father of lies. Deception is found even in the religious realm. Some churches mix lies with enough truth to make some people consider them legitimate Christian institutions. The only way believers can guard against deception is to ground themselves in God's Word. The more time you spend filling your mind with the Lord's thoughts, the more discerning you will be. However, just knowing biblical truth isn't enough. You must put what you learn into practice so that it becomes more than head knowledge. The goal is to let God's Word become such an integral part of your thinking that it guides your decisions. Even if the situation you're facing isn't specifically addressed in the Bible, scriptural principles provide the needed wisdom for every choice. In addition, the Holy Spirit is given to teach... Sorry, I'm wrong, sorry. In addition, the Holy Spirit is given to each believer. <clears throat> he is a helper whose job is to guide you into truth. There's reference to John 14, 26 to John 16, 13. However, your responsibility is to put scripture into your mind so God's Spirit can bring it to your remembrance. If you neglect the Word, you'll lack discernment. What are you allowing into your mind? Is the Word high in your priorities? Unless you're careful, worldly thinking will overpower spiritual discernment. It's difficult to keep God's perspective in the forefront if you spend two or three hours in front of the television and only ten minutes in the Bible. Wow. That is a powerful one. Wow. I, I, I don't know about you, but I, I needed to hear that today. I needed to hear that. I hope these emotional videos, I really hope that they help you realize how important it is to spend time daily in God's Word, reading, studying, reflecting on what God wants to say to you through His Word. I really hope and pray 
that if nothing else, these videos will, will help you realize the importance of, of spending time reading the Bible and studying it and thinking about what you're reading, not just reading it and then going on something else, but really think about what you're reading. You know? Um, I hope you all have a blessed day, a good start to your week. I love you all so much, and I will see you guys again tomorrow.